I wanted to make something that the audience could enjoy on a totally like visual, visceral level. Where you're just kind of having fun and going along with these characters. Watching Batman kick a little bit of ass. I mean, why else do you make a fan film besides to, to have a whole lot of fun? I have said all along I wanted On Edge Productions to make movies in Boston and bring movies here and be able to bring big productions here. When you, when you call it an independent film, it didn't have an independent film no. vibe at all. I right, felt like right. I was on a major a set. you know, blockbuster production Absolutely. cast. Crew. Every time you went on set? Yeah. That what really kept the fire burning within the cast and crew is that Ramsey would shoot these and then he would put these dailies up literally yeah. as soon day. as we yeah. like got yeah. off the set. You just look, fed, fed oh, the fire. You'd see, yeah. yeah. see dailies after every set and it would be like, wow, this looks amazing. And he's so talented. It all, like, it it looked like he had worked on it for months. Yeah. Like, oh, that's yeah. how good it yeah. came out. Like, it was yeah. almost final production worthy. Yeah. yeah. These, uh, and when did you ever get to see that where, like, you just filmed, like, boom, there's Never. something to yeah. go with the feet off of and you just... I remember it just makes you bring your A game. Like yeah. you have to. You can clearly see his vision. I remember the first one he put up got like 2,000 hits, and that's because everybody kept replaying it. Like a big screwed up game of telephone. With uh, Crow and Batman, I mean, I refer to him an awful lot, and yet not being in scenes with him. So this idea of these forces working against each other for the most part of the movie. Uh, but not actually on screen and not meeting until almost the very end was interesting because it's this struggle that we don't see but is very much a part of the film and that element was a, a clever device uh, written by Ramsey, no doubt. He's a symbol of what a person can do in this world if they care just enough. If they just tried. I may not completely agree with him, but I'd be heartless if I didn't respect him. Steve O'Born came in to play Mr. Fun, and he, yeah. re and he read for Mr. Fun, and I went, mm, and I said, hold on, here, read for Crow, he read it, and I remember Ramsey and Lisa, we all looked at each other and go, he's got it. <laughs> yeah, and then Steve came in and read you for get that feeling right away, Mr. Like, Fun, no, and I'm, right Mr. away. Fun. Yeah. And that's the thing, I think, being on the other end of the table when you do auditions, you know you get that feeling, you go, yep, they just nailed it. Why are you here then? That first scene when you started to speak, I was like, that was perfect, Mr. Fun. Take the night off! I felt it had personality. Uh, you know, I was reading, I said, hey, this Mr. Fun is... I can have fun with him. <laughs>